Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel, uh, GTR Math Tutorial. So for today's video, uh, we will discuss algebraic substitution. So when the integrand contains fractional powers of x only, use the substitution z equals n root of x or z to the n equals x, where n is the least common denominator of the fractional exponents of x. Okay, example. So we have integral of dx over square root of x plus cube root of x. So we're going to use the substitution z to the n equals equals x. Okay, so first uh, let us uh, convert this into fractional exponent. Square root of x, so this is equal to x raised to 1 half. Okay, and then cube root of x, so that is equal to x raised to one third and then find the lcd of two and three so least common multiple of two and three is six so therefore our n will be six so we're going to let z equals six root of x so let z is equal to six root of x or solve for x so z is equal to six root of x when we solve for x x is equal to z to the six and then take the differential of this x equals z to the 6. So, the differential of x is dx. Differential of z to the 6 is 6. z to the 6 minus 1. So, 6 z to the 5 dz. Okay? So, now we were going to substitute this to this uh, integral. So, we will uh, express this in terms of z by substitution. Okay? So, the numerator will become uh, dx. So, that is 6 z to the 5 dz. Okay, so numerator 6z to the 5 dz and the denominator will become a substitute uh, x equals z to the 6. So we substitute z to the 6 for every x. So we have square root of, instead of x, we write z to the 6 plus cube root of x. So we have cube root of z to the 6. Then we will simplify this. So simplify that. Uh, we have, so if we write this into... Uh, rational exponent, square root of 6, that will be equal to z raised to 6 over 2. Okay, so that therefore just divide 6 divided by 2. So we have z cube for the first term, that is a z cube. And then for the second term, so we have cube root of z to the 6. So that, therefore that will be z raised to 6 divided by 3. So that is equal to z square. Okay, and then let's move the constant uh, 6 outside the integral symbol. So therefore, it's now equal to okay, uh, 6 z to the pip dz over z cube plus z square. So let's move this uh, later. Okay, and then for this next term, we can simplify this. We can divide all the, the z to the z square. Or if we factor out z squared in the denominator, so that will become integral of 6, z to the fifth dz over, so we factor out the z squared, so therefore we have factor out z squared, so we still have z, and then z squared will become positive 1. And then we can cancel z squared and then subtract the exponent here, uh, 5 minus 2, so this will become 6z cubed. And then we move the 6 outside the integral symbol, so therefore we have... 6 integral of z cube dz over z plus 1. So next step is we will divide this by long division. Or you can use synthetic if you want. So z cube divided by z plus 1. Okay, so therefore we have by long division. So we have z cube divided by z plus 1. z plus 1. So let's divide z cube divided by z. The answer is z squared. And then multiply z squared times z. So we have z cubed and then z squared times 1. We have positive z squared. And then subtract. So subtract, change the sign. So this will become negative. So cancel. And then positive z squared will become negative. So therefore, we have negative z squared. And then repeat the process. Divide z negative z squared divided by z. We have negative z. And then Multiply negative z times c, we have negative z squared. And then negative z times positive 1, we have negative z. And then subtract again, change the sign. So this will become positive and positive. So we can cancel this. And then the new sign will be positive z. And then divide 
z divided by z, we have positive 1. And then 1 times z, we have z. 1 times 1, we have positive 1. Subtract, change the sign. So this will become negative, cancel out, and then the remainder will be negative 1. So therefore, this can be now reduced to uh, 6, and then the quotient is z squared minus z plus 1 minus the remainder. Plus the remainder, but since this is negative, so minus a 1 over the divisor z plus 1. So this uh, radicand will be uh, 6 integral of z squared minus z plus 1, so that is the quotient, and the remainder minus 1 over the divisor z plus 1 dz. And then next step, we just uh, distribute the 6 and the dz. So, so we can now integrate each uh, each integral for this, okay? So we just distribute. So we have 6 z squared dc minus 6 z dz plus 6 times 1. So we have 6 dz and then minus 6 times uh, dz over z plus 1. So for the first two terms, we will just use the formula integral of u to the n du, which is equal to u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. Okay, so just add add 1 to the exponent. So it's in the form u to the n du. So therefore, we have 6 z cubed over 3. Then for the for the next term, so same process. So just the exponent is 1, so add 1. So this will become 6 z squared over 2. And then for this one, 6 dz. So we have direct formula integral of du that is equal to u plus c. So we have 6 integral of dz that will be equal to z, 6z, okay? And then for this one, we will use the integral of du over u. So that is equal to ln of u plus c, okay? So our u here is z plus 1. The differential of z plus 1 is the numerator dz. So therefore, it's in the form du over u. So therefore, the answer to this is minus 6 ln z plus 1. Okay, so now uh, we're going to substitute the value of z. The value of z is equal to, put it back to x. So the value of z is 6 root of x. So we substitute 6 root, six root of x for every z. And then just simplify this, 6 divided by 3. So that is equal to 2. And then uh, z is equal to cube root of, uh, 6 root of x and then cube. Okay, so we have 2. 6 root of x cubed minus 6 divided by 2. So that is equal to 3. 6 root of x square. And then just substitute uh, directly the value of z here. 6, 6 root of x minus 6 ln 6 root of x plus 1 plus c. So now we will just uh, simplify the exponent. So the exponent, we have 6 root of x. So that is in rational exponent, that is equal to uh, x raised to 3 over 6. 3 over 6. So this is uh, 3 over 6. And then we can reduce that into x raised to 1 half. And x raised to 1 half is equivalent to square root of x. So the first term will be 2 square root of x. The second term, so we have 6 root of x squared. So that is equivalent to x raised to 2 over 6. Lowest term, 2 over 6 divide both by 2. So that will be x raised to 1 third. Change to radical form, so that is equal to minus 3 cube root of x. And then just copy the last two terms, minus uh, plus 6, 6 root of x minus 6 ln, 6 root of x plus 1 plus c, and that will be our final answer. Okay, so that's all. So thank you for watching, and if you have a question, just comment your question here or in my FB group or just DM me in Messenger, RJ Enseñado. So thank you for watching and bye-bye and God bless.